Yeah, hi. Today, uh, I got the uh, rough rebuilt um, due to that uh, accident I had with the pennant line coming off the old one, which is probably a good thing because now this is a way, a way nicer setup. Uh, as you can see, uh, everything is pretty much screwed in. You now the uh, the mass will bolt hinge. You don't have a boom stop on the rear one yet. You know I still have a lot of work to uh, do this, but uh, it's, it's run up and running. I just have to detail it out with some little things. Get some belly lines on here, and uh, maybe get a uh, a boom stop on here just to hold that mass up, and um, among other things, but get the super lift attachment ready. Um, so uh, here you can see the uh, lofting hoist. I have to redo these a little bit nicer because I can't, uh, these won't fleet because they hit the uh, lattice right down here. As you can see in the uh, cable stacks up on one end of the drum. So I'm going to have to uh, redo those so they're able to move. Uh, okay, so we go up here to this. I might move this back about an inch because it looks like it might just be touching as it goes up into there. Uh, <clears throat> this one does have uh, 12 parts in it. The last one had 10. So, and these seem to be working pretty good. I don't, they're not 100% level with the channels. I was having, have, having a problem with it, but uh, that's another thing I need to tweak eventually. Uh, they're pretty close, but not perfect. Um, and we go up here, back down. So let's see. The uh, I did have to uh, <clears throat> put more cable on that lifter from the last one. I wouldn't didn't have enough. And the uh, this is going to need some more cable on it too because I won't be able to run any kind of a block, a four part, the way it is now. So <clears throat> and uh, of course this is the old. The old crane. It's seen, been through hell. It's seen hell. Uh, although it's handling pretty good. You know, I know that things are not perfect in this area here because this has been in and out so many times. Those holes are not perfect. Uh, so we'll see how it performs. up down oh wrong way okay I think I'm safe to go a little bit I want to tip it over let me get that uh, that down here it is about 12 ounces of weight Let's see if I can lock in hold the load here <clears throat> closer to the ground. Okay, so uh, swing it down a little bit.
channel it'll lift a little bit more until uh, she starts to tip. Oh, there she goes. Okay. Not bad. With that, uh, <clears throat> with that super lift on there, I'll be able to take that out. Probably another two feet, at least. I'll actually be able to take it out to the uh, minimum boom and jib angles, I know. Uh, it'll handle that weight, no problem. Let's see if I get the load back. Down a little bit. I'm going to up a little bit. High speed up. Get that lofter up high. Mm, I'm going to make it. I definitely do not want to boom this thing over backwards either. Yeah, not even going to go for it. I know that would get a lot of views though if I if I did, wouldn't it? Uh, yeah, you might have noticed I'm, a couple of my videos I cheated. I put uh, my crane accident in the title. And those uh, <laughs> actually got a lot of views. A lot of people out there like to see crane accidents, which yeah, I guess they're interesting, you know, just to see what, how how they happen, why they happen, you know, which a lot of times they don't really tell you. Um, so. So that's, uh, that's as far as I've gotten on this. After I do a little, couple little things to it, like the uh, the boom stop on the um, the stationary buffer mask, really need to get some kind of a boom stop on the bottom of the boom too. Uh, yeah, the CEO hoist is moving. I thought I had it stopped, but yeah. So. Stop that. I think that stopped. Uh, one of the next things I guess will be uh, installing the uh, the mask for the uh, super lift and seeing how that works. I actually have a friend right now that's uh, <clears throat> running a uh, the CC2800 with a uh, super lift attachment. So. I'll have to talk to him and see exactly 
how realistic mine is. So, anyways, here we go. We got the, uh, the cover again on the electronics, which is hides all that stuff, which is nice. Um, the pennant seem to be all working out pretty good. I mean, I do have some alignment to do on this uh, attachment because I know I'm not perfect. Here, pretty close. Right here, this one bar is touching on this one. Not sure why. Something, <clears throat> something that is not aligned properly. But then again, this crane probably will never be aligned properly because of uh, all the times it's been wrecked. But I'm happy with the uh, lofting attachment. I think it turned out pretty good. Way nicer than the uh, plastic pieces. If you've seen the last uh, the video I posted before this. And uh, yeah, I do have to do some trimming if I want to be able to go up this thing down past, uh, it goes down about maybe, it goes past 90, it goes like maybe 105, then these have to be trimmed out. I'm going to have to redesign the next one so there's, this is able to uh, keep going. <clears throat> okay, well, that's it for now. Uh, <clears throat> again, if you guys have any 